Hey guys, Hardik Patel here, and this video is about aperture settings. So, how does aperture work, and how can it make difference? Aperture is also known as the f-stop. So, I have this Nifty 50 with me, and this is 50 mm 1.4 f. That means you can do all the way 1.4 f aperture. That means the aperture would be wide open, and it will give nice shallow depth of field look so you can see right now it is set at 2.8 f with my sigma 17 to 50 mm lens and the depth of field is nice and shallow right now so background is kind of blur now if i increase the f stop that means it will shrink the aperture and the depth of field or the background would get more in focus even though i am in focus as well so let's change it to 4 F and see if it makes any difference or not. So now I have increased the F stop to 4F instead of 2.8F and now you might see some difference in the background as well. So let me compare. This is 2.8 and now it is 4F. Now also one more thing if I increase the F stop so the aperture shrinks down that means it allows less light to go to the sensor, that means your image starts getting darker. So what I had to do is I had to increase the ISO as well. So before the ISO was 1000, now I have to increase to 1600. Now let me change the f-stop to f8 and see whether it makes even more difference or not. So now I change the aperture to f8.0. You can see the background is less blurry compared to 2.8f, but the noise in the footage is increased because now I had to increase the ISO to 6400 to compensate the lighting. So that is the little bit of disadvantage shooting on the high f-stop. So the pros and cons between the less f-stop versus high or big aperture versus small aperture is like if you have your aperture wide open or if your f-stop value is lowest like 1.4 or 2.8 whatever the lens has lowest value to, it will allow nice shallow depth of field and you will get very nice blur background and that's what you like or usually many people like to see in their videos and photos this is at the high f stop that means the aperture is smaller and the background is very wide and it is in focus the advantages versus disadvantages is like if you are shooting the portrait or any videos where you want to focus particular subject and just make sure your viewers are having their attention to that particular subject or object, then you use the lowest f-stop or highest uh, aperture. Lowest f-stop, that means lower number of f value, it is equal to higher aperture or bigger aperture. In other case, if you are shooting or if you are taking the photos of the star trail or something, you would like to shoot at the highest f value. So f22 is the most DSLR cameras offers. And the reason for that is because you want to make sure everything is in focus and make sure stars and everything would be covered in that video. And if you are taking time lapse, you do not miss anything. So hope you learn the difference between the f-stops uh, or the aperture. And if you feel like this video has been added some value to you, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. And that way I will be encouraged to make more and more YouTube videos on this channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Comment me in the comment box below if you have any questions or suggestions. Bye.